Hello and welcome to Finextra. I'm Hannah Wallace and today I'm joined by Jörg Schapper from Thomson Reuters and we're going to be talking about artificial intelligence. Jörg, thank you for taking the time to speak with us today. Oh, thank you for having me. Firstly, what are the main challenges organisations are facing when it comes to compliance screening? So if you look at compliance screening, which is the process of um, identifying a customer and then comparing risk intelligence to, to that customer identity, there are really typically two, two challenges that organizations have. They fit under the banner of efficiency and effectiveness. So finding the right information um, and not missing something. And the other one is not searching for too long. You can think about it as finding a needle in a haystack, and the haystack is very large. So the real challenge is, as we see today, with more and more information being available in media sources and so on, is really two haystacks now. It's, it's the traditional, the PEP, the sanctions information, very structured, ordered information, and then more and more information in, in media sources that need to be compared. And that's becoming very hard uh, to find the relevant information. So the cost is going up, and that's a key challenge. How do you see artificial intelligence and machine learning having an impact on KYC and AML compliance processes in the industry, and in particular on banks? No doubt uh, machine learning, AI, will have huge impact on the processes today. If you consider machine learning as, as an extension of what the analysts do today, machines are very capable of searching through a lot of information much faster than a human can. Properly trained, they'll find the relevant information much faster and they will be able to augment the analysts that, that are doing the work today. So I think they will be used, uh, I like to call it intelligent augmentation, so an extension of the analyst sorting out the information, presenting what's relevant, rather than having to look at a lot of data manually. I see, and how are KYC service providers such as Thomson Reuters addressing those challenges? I think uh, organizations like ourselves uh, have two roles to play in this. One is thought leadership, getting the, the ecosystem around regulators, banks, corporates, uh, ready to adopt new technologies. Because there are clearly concerns around, is it a black box? Does a machine make a decision on banking or debanking an individual or corporation? So thought leadership is one. The other one is uh, innovation and product design. So actually bringing these solutions to the market, not just as a, here's an intellectual thought process and a clever tooling, but as something pragmatic that can be applied, that solves the problem, that is ready to be used by organizations. And are there any notable examples of technology-based innovations that are already helping organizations in this space? There are. So using analytical tool sets to uh, manage data is not new at all. So phonetic matching, natural language processing has been around for a long time. Um, and we've gone internally much further. So we've been using machine learning for our own research teams to, for example, deduplicate uh, media uh, reports. So five reports covering the same event, an analyst wants to read it once. So we've been using that internally. We've been training these algorithms for years. So that's very productive. And um, I think we are now at the point where there's an inflection point of the market being ready to adopt these technologies more broader. So hence why I think now is the time that organizations are interested in applying this, not only internally, but externally as well. And finally, how do you see regulation, as well as technology, evolving over the next few years? And what challenges do you foresee? Let's break that down into different components. So um, I think regulation itself won't change that much, but regulators' approach and attitudes is changing already. So there's a much uh, uh, more openness to, to using um, augmentation, using clever tooling uh, to, to help analysts go through a lot of data. So there is um, yeah, actually encouragement from regulators to do so. If I then look at um, the actual operational functions in financial institutions and other institutions, um, they will change because they will get these new technologies, they will do less data preparation and more analysis and risk decisions. So I think those jobs will be much more around um, yeah, higher skilled activities around uh, data management, around risk decision making, so putting much more into the driving seat of making risk decisions for the organization. Jörg, thank you very much. Oh, thank you for inviting me. It's my pleasure. And thank you for watching.